Live music seen as a huge part of our Colorado culture, and tonight, thousands of people got an earful of the state's newest venue. The Levitt Pavilion in Denver was hosting its first concert. Our Dominic Garcia was there, and Dom, great to hear many of these shows will be free. And Jim, for the very first concert here, it was a great turnout. Despite the rain, the show went on. It's still going on right now. Probably the coolest thing about all of this is everyone we spoke to tonight was from neighborhoods around here. They can't believe this is now in their backyard. Some people call this a gamble. To celebrate the area's newest crown jewel, Ruby Hill was rocking. This is extremely exciting. We've been working on this for uh, five years now, and it's finally come to fruition. Chris Zacker is the executive director for the $7.2 million Levitt Pavilion. We're truly building community through music. This is a, this is a family-friendly amphitheater. Everything's over at 10 p.m. We're, we're, we're catering to those families that have kids. He says they'll host around 50 free concerts a year, mainly highlighting local artists, literally giving them a stage to showcase their talents. That's really you know, the defining characteristic that makes us different. That and we're the only outdoor venue in Denver proper. Joe Simon lives nearby, and when he heard about this project, he signed up to be on the board. I was happy to reach out and really see if I could lend a helping hand. We've been running down the hill <laughs> and rolling down the hill. For Amy Hall, while she took in the music, her kids took on the hill. I think it's great. Um, we don't come, I mean, we live just over there, and we don't come, we almost never come to Ruby Hill, and we really, really should. And with this here now, that will probably change. What it's really about is, is creating a, a living room for the community, a place where people can come and gather and celebrate what we have here as an artistic community together. Now, there are also going to be about 20 to 30 paid ticketed events here every year. Will the market off be able to hold about 7,500 people? The first one is tomorrow. UB40 will be kicking that off, of course, known for their cover in the 80s of Red Red Wine. In Denver, Dominic Garcia, CBS 4 News.